Hi everyone, my name is Dalton. I'm the videographer and social media representative here at CalDigit. Like the rest of the CalDigit team, and hopefully many of you, I am currently working from home. As I'm sure you're all aware, there's a lot of changes to get used to in working from home. And so today I thought we'd go over what my workflow is like now, as well as talk about how the CalDigit lineup has really helped simplify my transition to working from home and made me appreciate the portable lifestyle a bit more. Let's do it. So let's start with the desk setup. Video editing is a large part of my job, so my desk space reflects that. I shoot all of our videos in 4K, and I do a little bit of post-processing afterwards, so I need a pretty beefy computer to keep up efficiently. Thankfully, I'm currently using a 2019 MacBook Pro 16-inch that has worked really well in the absence of a desktop for me, and that's largely because my desk still acts like a desktop. If the MacBook is the brains of this operation, then the TS3 Plus is the body and the nerves connecting everything together. The TS3 Plus connects virtually all my peripherals to the computer, and it's all because of one single Thunderbolt 3 cable. As I'm sure many of you are aware, the TS3 Plus is absolutely decked with connectivity. There's seven USB ports, three audio ports, an SD card reader, an Ethernet port, a display port, and a Thunderbolt 3 port that can double as a second display option. The most striking part of this setup is probably the monitor. It's an LG ultrawide 5K monitor that's a dream for anybody that's a creator. It's 5K wide, 2K long. The TS3 Plus is actually capable of driving a true 5K monitor, which would be bigger than this. Or, equally impressive, it can drive two 4K monitors at the same time. I have dual Yamaha HS5 monitor speakers that are connected via the Scarlett underneath. The Scarlett's an audio interface that could take in a microphone input or, you know, if I wanted to hook up this microphone directly into the computer, I could do that. The keyboard and mouse are from Apple. The Magic Mouse isn't really my first go-to when it comes to video editing, but it does work well, even though it's not the most ergonomic choice. The Tough Nano is the last part of my setup, and that functions as a daily backup for me right now. Anybody that works with a lot of files knows how important it is to have a backup, just in case. You don't ever want to lose data, but it's always a possibility. And finally, I have these two beautiful plants, this aloe plant and the succulent that I've been growing for a little while, so really appreciate being at home with them. My workflow itself hasn't really changed significantly since the move to home. At work, I have a second monitor, so that's a little different. Truly, the biggest change is that now I have a laptop and I can work anywhere. Virtually all the work I do for social media that's not video related can be done portably. And so being able to work on my couch or the dining room table, wherever I want is really nice. It definitely helps me stay creative. I think the biggest problem of working from home and this setup is that I don't have access to our full studio. I brought a lot of the studio home, including several lights and some other stuff, but it's just not the same. You know, I live here and so the space we have is significantly smaller. Not having access to the studio has definitely led me to be a little more creative in the social media content that I'm producing, but you know, maybe that's a good thing. One of the nicest parts about the TS3 Plus is the convenience of it all. When I'm in production, like now, and my memory card fills up, I can just toss it in. It's right there, it's so easy. And this is so fast, even this 32 gigabyte card just, it's, it's all transferred off in a matter of like two minutes. I know for MacBook and MacBook Pro users, uh, it's the convenience of having USB type A ports again. But for me, I feel like it's much more having those ports on the table readily accessible. At my personal setup, I have one USB on the back of my keyboard and that's it. I have to reach behind my computer to do anything else. And to have it on the desk, to have all those ports, all the ports that I use right there, it's fantastic. So anyways, that's the tour of my workspace and a little bit of my, my home too. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you're all out there staying, or in there, I guess, staying healthy. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and see you soon. This is like a standing desk now, let me show you. So this is really two coffee tables put together, but it's kind of at just the right height for me to work on while I'm standing. And it's, that's pretty nice. 
Never had a standing desk before. It's a, it's a whole bunch of firsts for me, I gotta say. And I love it. I love it. I'm not, you know, and that's, that's the other part of it that it's, that's nice, is that when I'm tired of standing, oh, whoop it, disconnect it, go sit down. That's nice. I like that. 